Today we're at Red Town, we're going to show you around. This tower is made up of four levels, and these are the original floating. The reason as to why the red tower is actually painted red is still yet unknown. However, in 2019, representatives from the province of Castellar, which is the birthplace of Grandmaster Lascaris, visited here and presented this flag. Basically, this is the province of Castellar, and it has a red tower. Could be that the Grand Master actually felt a bit homesick and painted the tower red to present Castellar. Who knows? Under me is the well. This well gets filled up from the rainwater. It can hold up to 50 soldiers for 40 days. The spiral staircase, previously stone, now changed into wooden, will lead you to the third and the fourth floor of this tower. Here you're going to have to imagine a bit. Here would be wooden planks all across to accommodate over 50 soldiers that would be sleeping here in case of an attack. To give you an idea of the thickness of the wall, this is the thickness of the wall. The walls were that thick, so if cannonballs were shot at this tower, it would be resistant and it would hold those cannonballs. We are on top of the red tower here. From here you can see Goto, Camino and this part of Mota. It is so beautiful from up here. Four turrets here in this tower, small like rooms like this. They used to previously provide shelter for the soldiers and also the storm camp out there. Nowadays they are filled with much more information about the tower and its surroundings. The rest tower's position is very crucial. It basically provided good communication to the Comino Tower, Gonzo, and also the White Tower over there along the coastline. A big thanks goes to the large Halwa and all the volunteers that arranged for us to do this. Thank you, you're doing an amazing job. Hope you like this video. Would really recommend that you visit this place and see you next week. Bye! Bye.